Now, the whole point of this channel is to encourage you to experiment. And Steve and I frequently refer to each other as two fat old guys hanging around in a shed in Canterbury. And you've seen what we do, it's kitchen chemistry, but we're out doing it and experimenting. Now, I can't tell you what it's exactly in this stuff here because it's been done for somebody else, but I can assure you it's kitchen chemistry. And what you've got in here is a powder. Now, this powder has some amazing properties. The most one being that if you heat it to 135 degrees and squeeze it into a mould, it turns into a plastic. Now, we were looking at plastics because we wanted to toughen them up. So we took this, we invented this plastic, and we took this plastic and added half a percent of graphene to it, which turned into this bright silvery colour. And then we squeezed it in our mould. OK, so here's the mould, and you can see it's a really simple home homemade thing. It's two pieces of plate steel and a bit of pipe in between it. We poured the plastic in, heated the whole thing to 135 degrees, put in a steel plunger, and pressed it down. And in there, we've got a layer of our plastic. OK, so... Once it's had a little time in the mould, just take it to pieces, and that's what you get, a disc of plastic. Now, that one is actually still slightly rubbery, and I can see it's followed the lines of the top of the mould really, really well. So that's what you get out when you put that um, white powder in, and this is what you get out when you put in the black powder. Now, remember, the black powder's got graphene in it, and one of the really cool things about this There we go, it's about a centimetre apart. So we get about uh, a resistance there of about 700 ohms, and this is a plastic. So that's actually amazingly conductive for a plastic. Now I put this together in a kind of random way. I mean, I put half a percent of graphene in because that's what they put in. Um, it really needs playing with. So it's just a first kickoff. God knows what we're going to come up with. The thing about this is, um, you can see it's about three millimetres thick, but on the edge it's about one millimetre thick. And it's chipped because we've been taking some pliers to it. Because if we try and break that one millimetre thick, he <laughs> can't do it. It's unbelievably tough. It took us some grips <laughs> to actually chip these bits off. And this centre bit, no way. That that is incredibly strong. What we're going to do is do some testing on how strong it is, but it's amazingly strong. So, the whole point of this is to tell you to get out there and experiment. I know I keep banging on about it, I know I keep saying you should do it, but you really should because the world is an exciting and interesting place and you just never know what you're going to come up with. You might come up with a super plastic too.